I love everything about this update. This is the best update ever. Absolutely 100% best update ever. No lies. What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Astroneer. So today we're going to do our first little bit of automation. Oh, I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Now, leave a comment down below. I'm super curious. What is your guys' favorite thing in the game so far that they've added? I, I like the arm and I like this, but I really, really like the resource canisters. I really do they are absolutely amazing so my favorite is obviously the large one because it holds 400 but that requires nano carbon alloy which is the most expensive item in the game that is the hardest thing to make so we're gonna slowly work our way up to getting a whole bunch of these guys but i want to do automation along the way so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more now uh what we're gonna need we're gonna need a large platform so we're gonna need this guy uh one more iron wait what hold on a second extra large platform type c did they change the work they changed the requirements they had to have changed this i what i thought this was two iron and two steel it's two iron and two resin are you absolutely kidding me <laughs> that is amazing oh my gosh that might be the best update in the game my goodness i love it oh my gosh that is not even expensive it's like super easy. It's like superly duperly easy. Okay, hold on. All right, all right. So let's get the <laughs> let's get this in here. Let's grab some resin. <gasps> oh, I'm super excited about this. Okay, so automating hydrazine. We're gonna automate hydrazine first because that is one of the items that we need. In can you not? Why can't we select this? Yes. Start printing that. Uh, that is one of the items that we're gonna need a lot of because we need hydrazine in order to make graphene. So we're gonna need graphite hydrazine. Uh, titanium, we're gonna need, what, uh, argon and helium or all kinds of crazy stuff. It's just super expensive. So, I want to start off by automating hydrazine, which is gonna be easy enough because we already have some ammonium over here, which means we can use our big auto extractor guy. And then, all we need is an atmospheric condenser, and then all we need is a chemistry lab. And that should make everything. Now, the only issue with this, the only thing I don't like is I don't like the fact that the gases are not able to be put into these because like I'm about to make a whole bunch of gases. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this just because we're about to do that. Um, I want to make sure I don't overfill the platform with that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and make a, uh, a large platform type B. We got that guy going as well. So uh, my plan is that we're going to have the atmosphere condenser making hydrogen. We're going to have an arm going from the hydrogen to the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab is going to be making hydrazine. And then we're going to have an arm going from the thumper to this guy as well, which then should make all the hydrazine if I'm doing this correctly. I believe so. I don't know. I, I You know what? It's going to be a slow process here, okay? In the beginning, it's going to be a slow process. We're trying to figure things out. We're doing this stuff. Actually, you know what? I just realized... I also have a, um, oh, I need to agree and move back off. <laughs> um, I also have a, where was it at? We have a new, was it orbital blue? No, it was happy blue. <gasps> Look at that face. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Um, I believe we have different visors too. Visor color. We have, da, 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 da. where is it? Hold on. Did I not get it yet? Uh, this guy. Yes. This guy. Okay. Let's get this guy. All right. Let's get this guy. All right, so now we should have these other fancy guys. Where are they at? Right here. Uh, AU some awesome. Get it? Get it? Astroneer, awesome. A dynamic vision, system era supporter, and escape velocity. Oh, oh, I like the escape velocity the best. Okay. All right. There's a new face. That's our new face place. It looks great. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let's get some oxygen here. Oh, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm really liking the suit. I'm not going to lie. I really like the cyberpunk version too, though. Okay. All right. So let me get this kind of set up over here first before we go and like put it into uh, into actuality. So I'm just going to steal this one. I'm just going to steal this guy because you don't want. I don't care. I don't care. Watch me. Watch me steal it. 
Okay, so we're gonna do that guy there. Um, we can't. So we have to use these. Unfortunately, you know, I'm actually thinking about getting some medium storage canisters and starting to put some of this stuff into medium storage canisters because those are like super cheap and easy, and it would probably organize things like a way faster. All right, so we're gonna have one of these guys. Actually, we're probably gonna have two. You know what? We gotta do it. Let's let's get um. Let's see. What do I have a lot of resources of? I have a lot of something. I've got a lot of something here. Uh, we've got a lot of iron. Maybe we should do iron in there because I have a ton of iron. So let's do that. Let's do iron. Uh, let's set this here. Let's do uh, iron there. Let's not. Uh... Listen here, guy. Listen here. Disable output. No, stop it. You No. Why do you hate my game? Okay. There's that. There's that. Iron. There. No, stop that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Now, if I if I if I believe so, I should be able to put this on here, and it should just suck up everything. <gasps> this is the greatest thing ever. Oh, look at how cool that looks! It looks like iron bits. Oh, that is super cool. Oh wow, that's gonna fill up like immediately. Maybe I should have done the large one. On that one. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, that is super cool. <gasps> you know what's nice about this is I can just run around. I can just place this. It. Like, is there anything here? Nope. Looks good. On the, anything on this one? Mm, nope, nothing on that one. What about this one? I bet you there's some iron on here. Let's see. Let's find out. Boop. Yes, there is. Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. Why do I love it so much? I love it so much. It's like one of the greatest feelings ever. I'm telling you right now. It's it's a feeling of true power. This is one of those moments. Feelings that give you the or things that give you the feeling of true power. This right here. This resource canister. 100%. It's a thing. Uh. Yes. Oh, suck up all that iron. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's going to be full. Oh, nope. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's not done yet. Okay, how's this one looking? Okay. All right. Any more iron on here? No. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Okay, so all the iron should have been got. We should, All of our iron should be in this. Oh my gosh. That is hands down the best thing ever. That is amazing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of these in the beginning because I just I don't have nano carbon alloy like I mean, I have not been playing to get prepared for this I did not think I was gonna need a lot of nano carbon alloy. I was I was wrong. I was wrong Let me just tell you I was wrong. Okay uh, Let's go see if we can make some more of those guys. All right, so we need glass and plastic. Okay. All right. Well, guess what? We got plastic right here Boop. and a glass absolutely uh, let's get the other glass that we have right there. Fantastic. Actually, let's just put it on there. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, this is gonna be great. Let's go and make another one. And then I'm gonna need another one because, you know, we're gonna need all of them. All right, so a glass and a plastic. Wait, where did the other glass go? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, do I have the stuff to make plastic? Plastic carbon and compound? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh, I don't have any carbon. Get get out of here. Get out of here with that. You know, something else I'd like to see. I'm, I, you know what? I'm already complaining. I'm sorry. I'm not complaining, okay? I'm just thinking. I'm thinking out loud. Please don't take this the wrong way. One thing I would like to see is if they had a smaller uh, resource collector, auto resource collector, that maybe didn't do such a large area, that maybe you'd be able to actually start the game with just so you didn't have to dig holes everywhere. I think that'd be kind of cool. It, it would. You wouldn't have to worry about digging holes like absolutely everywhere all the time. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let's make this stuff. Oh, stupid carbon. Okay, so this one should be done over here. Let's grab this. And we're going to put this one with graphite. I think we're going to do graphite because I see a lot of graphite just hanging out, chilling, doing its thing, doing stuff, you know. Uh, let's make sure. Enable output. No. Okay. Fantastic. And put that on there. That should suck up all of that. Oh, my gosh. This is the best thing ever. This is amazing. It's sorting everything automatically for me. Well, it's not really sorting it, but it's gathering all of one resource. Oh. <gasps> It's the best feeling ever. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I love it. All right, let's grab the graphite off of this one as well. This is going to be full, 100%. It's going to be full. Oh, it's not full yet. No, sir, it's not full yet. Okay, let's see. We'll throw it on here. Graphite? Nope. Okay, all right. Uh, So now, let's see. Hold on a second. We can make more. Nah, we don't need to. Let's go ahead. Let's get um that guy. Do we want that guy there? No, we're not going to put that guy there. I don't think we'll put that guy there. And we are going to need this large platform with a chemistry lab on it. Actually, I could probably just make another chemistry lab. Let's let's just make another one. I probably should have just made another atmosphere condenser too, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Chemistry lab. Tungsten, glass, and ceramic. Mm. 
You know, it's actually kind of funny, and just like that, my favorite storage medium is now no longer the medium storage silo. It's these guys! <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, we'll get a chemistry lab. Perfect. And then, so we'll have these guys. We'll have that guy making a hydrogen. That guy's going to be making... Do I even... Do I even need a large platform? I don't even think I need a large platform. Hmm. Well, oh well, it's too late now. We're good. <laughs> we might as well use it. Oh, actually, no, this will work out perfectly because if I do this like that, it's going to select from this side. It's going to put it onto the platform right next to it, which is going to be this guy. Yeah, that'll work. Ta-da. Chemistry lab is done. Okay, so we can go ahead and put that guy right here and we're going to go ahead and select this guy. That is the wrong way, good sir. That is the wrong way. All right. We want this one to do hydrazine, so it's going to need ammonium, ammonium and hydrogen. Fantastic. Easy enough. Uh, do I have a medium? Oh, I have a medium storage right there. And then we'll go ahead and put that on here. Maybe? Actually, yeah, we'll put that there. And then let's see. Okay, so we're going to be getting an ammonium. So actually, we could probably utilize a medium resource canister for the ammonium to hold that while it's doing the things making the stuff. Actually, we probably don't even need that because it's probably going to be making... Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna make it faster than no, maybe not. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's just make one. Uh, do I have any more quartz? No, I don't. You know what? That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll set it. Well, yeah, we'll just set it right here. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's get these guys kind of put into. Oh, actually, hold on. Is this one almost empty? Oh, this one's like almost empty. Let's move these around. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I just need I need this arm, and we need an RTG for power of course power reasons uh you know what let's actually let's you know what let's get fancy let's throw two rtgs on it i don't care let's let's do it we're gonna we're doing this to make more nanocarbon alloy anyways uh so we'll throw two rtgs on this platform that's already selected so let's go ahead let's bring this over to this area over here that had the ammonium in it you know what i'm just curious oh <gasps> it's not there where'd all my backpack inventory go I was just, I was like, oh, I'm just curious. Like if, if, uh, where's, where's my, where's my true flat leveling thing? I wanted to try it in survival mode just to see if it worked. Did I place it somewhere? Oh, did, you know what? Did the machines take it off my back? Maybe. Uh, no. Where did that go? Ah, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter anyways. That's fine. That's just fine. Let's see. Do I have another canister of hydro? <laughs> I need a canister of hydrazine <gasps> for my backpack. Okay, cool. There's that. Uh, let's go take this guy over here. All right, so there's that. Now, I want to put the the big guy. I want to put it right here. I want to get rid of these trees. Go away, trees. I don't want to grab... I don't want to... I don't want... Don't... Don't give me hydrazine. Don't give me that ammonium. I don't want it. No! Stop giving it to me! Because I want it... I want it to... Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, let's... Ah, uh, I'm out of... Darn it. You know what? Somebody needs to make some tethers over here. My gosh, this is ridiculous. I was tired of suffocating, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. We had to do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, I don't have a soil canister. That's fine. That's fine. Let's grab big boy over here and let's bring that guy back over here. You, you know where you're going. This is the area you auto, auto extracted last time. Now I want to get it to see if I can place it to where those things are fuller than just like a half a bar. Okay, this is less than half a bar. It's about half a bar. That's like half a bar. That's like half. That's even worse. All right. It looks like right here is a, it's about the sweet spot. It's about the sweet spot. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to bring this platform back into here. Somewhat like this. That looks awful. Can't flatten because I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have the tool. All right. So we're going to bring that into there. And then this guy doesn't really have to be that far. So we can go ahead and place this guy maybe right there. Is that within the, that's a, that's within the placing area. Perfect. Okay, so that looks good. So we can go ahead and connect up this guy to here. And then we can go ahead and turn this on. Hydrogen, absolutely. And then we gotta go grab the other little extra, the other little uh, the arm guy. And then we should be able to connect that to the thumper dude. And then the thumper dude's gonna give us the ammonium. The ammonium's gonna go there. And then it's gonna get transferred and it's gonna get made into just stuff automatically hopefully maybe uh, maybe we'll see all right so for this guy i want it facing this way right how's that looking 
Uh, let's do like like that. Okay, there to there. That looks good. So we'll go ahead and plug this in there. Plug this in here. And voila! And then examine ammonium craft. <gasps> Alrighty. So now, whenever that gets to oh gosh, we're about to die. Whenever that gets to ammonium on it, it should automatically craft the <gasps> we need a button we need a button because that way when this storage is full it'll tell this thing to stop actually no it's not even gonna matter because it's only reaching that side of the platform anyways we don't have to worry about this overflowing into this because it's only reaching right there mm, i like it i like it indeed actually we could we could put a thing on it so when this one's full it could tell it to stop but it would stop automatically anyways because if it's full it in it, it i think with these machines it doesn't matter all right, you guys know I couldn't deal with this. I, I couldn't deal with it. I'm sorry, okay? I just, it has to, it, it can't look like this. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. We gotta, we gotta fix this. It's gotta be, it's gotta be semi-flat. Hey, it did, it did the things. Look, it's making the arches get on its own. I didn't even do anything. Wow, that takes a lot of power. Two RGGs can't even hardly power this thing very well. Ooh, good to know. Okay. All right, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I'm sorry. It, it's gotta be flatter than this. It's got to be flatter than this. It looks it looks just awful. All right, don't don't pay attention to this platform right here. It's uh it's completely fine and functional. <laughs> All right, let's make sure that's still good. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, there we go. We just automatically made our first hydrazine. My gosh. My gosh, we've done it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I just want to leave it here and I just want to watch it work, you know? Oh, there it goes again. It's it's making <laughs> it's making it automatically. <gasps> These, uh, you know what? I, I just, I can't stress enough. I honestly, like, I never expected an astroneer to go automation. I never really did. Like from the beginning, like I was like, oh yeah, no, this is, you know, all, all the stuff, all this stuff's fun. But like bring it in an automation like this to where it can add, a, it can just make it itself. We don't have to worry about anything. It's good to go. Also, I moved this storage to over here because that way it'll only fill these four and then it'll fill up this. And in all actuality, if I just remove this one too, like that, uh, it would only fill up these four and these two and then would turn this one off until it needed it because this thing is pumping out way more, way faster than, uh, than this thing even needs. So actually that'd probably be a good little setup right there because then it'll turn this off and then it'll, you know, it'll allow it to have more power and stuff like that. So uh power on these guys is pretty substantial i have to say because two rtgs only giving us like not even half power Whew. i mean i guess rtgs aren't supposed to be super powerful but still geez louise so as i'm sitting here kind of thinking about stuff looking over things you know just just pondering life itself i'm thinking that the best way to do this the most efficient way would be to actually have the auto miner with a RTG, an arm, and a resource container. Because this is a limited amount of resources. So you don't want to build like a whole bunch of stuff right next to it because I mean, it's only going to last for so long. But if you had it just so it was going into a resource, resource container, you could throw beacons up you can just drive around, collect the resource containers, replace them out with empty ones, and then bring them back to your base and then fully automate from there. So I'm thinking that would probably be the better option just because these resources are are finite. They're they're not infinite like uh, like some other, you know, factory games that are very satisfying to play. <laughs> um, they are finite. So that is something can, to consider because like, I don't, you know, like this, this, I mean, this didn't take me very long to move over here because my base is literally right there. So, I mean, that was, this was like nothing, but I don't think I would set this up super far away. I think I would just have the extractor and a uh, RTG, an arm, and actually hold on a second. Wait just one second. Uh, I gotta make, I gotta make another plastic real quick. <laughs> I gotta make a plastic. Okay, so this there, do we have the stuff? I don't have compound, compound, compound! Does anybody have compound? I seriously don't have any compound. How do I not, how do I not have any compound? Let me go get some compound. All right, I had to go manually dig up some compound. My gosh, what, what is this? Like the, the 2019 G's. Will we actually have to do stuff by hand? Golly, okay, anyways. 
Uh, what I was thinking here is I needed plastic for this. What, what is this? This is plastic. Why, why are you not making plastic make plastic? There we go. There we go. Is I think you should be able to set this on top of the resource collector. So we're going to try that because if you can place this directly on top of a resource collector, all you would need like literally is like a solar panel or like, I mean, an RTG would be ideal if you wanted to run all the time, but you wouldn't even need an arm. You wouldn't even need another platform. Uh, I mean, if you had solar panels, if like you had a large solar panel or like a wind turbine or something like that, but ugh, I don't know how much power that's, uh, that's not going to give you a lot of power. But I should be able to put this guy, undo that. And if I put this up here like that, that means that this should fill that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think it's a thing. All right. I'm going to let that sit there and run for a minute. And we're going to check back on it. Because if I don't enable the output, that arm's not going to take it anyways. Actually, uh, let's test. We'll test. More testing. Testing is required. Okay. I think it's one. I think it's one hit away. And it should. Okay. Oh my gosh. It absolutely worked. It absolutely 100% worked. That now has one in it and you can hold 32. You could even just throw a storage silo on top of there if you wanted to. Honestly, the medium resource canister is 100% made for this. It is 100% made because it's cheaper than a uh, medium storage silo in uh, resources. Ooh, bites wise though. My bites wise might be more expensive. But that's absolutely perfect because then all you would need is a small platform, a solar panel or something. And then during the day, it'll run. It, it won't be very fast, but it will run. And then you can just leave it and forget it. Now, will it work while I'm gone? Like if I would, it should because resources, uh, research and stuff like that still works while you're gone, while you're not on planet. Because like I'm not getting any research right now because I don't have anything being researched. But on Glacio, if I'm getting stuff researched, it 100% works while I'm not near it. Okay, so is that the last one? He's going to do it again. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. Okay, suck with those. Oh, that's amazing. And then if I enable output mode, guess what? Yep, it's going to grab it. It's going to put it on there. It's going to grab it. Wait for it. There it is. It's going to put it on there. Oh my gosh. I love this. I, there's just the, the possibilities are endless now. The possibilities are truly endless. Oh, this is amazing. I love that. Oh, look at the little face on this guy. It's got a little, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's got the little face. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. So we automated some hydrazine. We did some things. So I, I, I should just be able to leave it and forget about it. Oh man. That is so nice. That is so nice. So now basically all I want to do is make, um, make these these storage silos i you know i actually really like the little ones the big ones are much better for bulk storage um but the little ones are very very nice compared to like what we had before like option wise storage wise because we had these guys that holds 24 items but now we can get the storage silo this little guy that holds 32 on the same thing and it's an individual item I really like that. I really, really like these big guys, but that's super end game. And that's like, can you imagine having 400, 400 of an item? Oh my gosh. Like, I mean, we absolutely will hundred percent. Don't get me wrong. It's gotta happen, but 400, holy moly. It's definitely worth a, uh, a nano carbon alloy for that. I love it. I love it. Oh, this is, this is just the greatest thing. So you know what? Just out of curiosity, I'm going to turn these off. I want to see how, how much, okay. How much power do you need? Are you still, you still good? It's almost good. So how much faster is it? I mean, it's pretty quick. Oh yeah. Noticeably faster. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So you know what? Actually one last thing I want to do. I want to play it with a power button deal. I want to figure this, this, this like sensor stuff. And I want to see if we can, we get something working here. Cause you know, we're testing, we're this new stuff, new grounds. We got things to do. Okay. So what I want is I want a storage indicator. Uh, I won't be able to do a storage indicator. So as far as I know, what was that? A winch. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, uh, quartz and zinc. Um, I don't think I have any. Oh, I have one. I have one. As far as I know, how the storage thing works 
is where's that quartz at? i had one right here okay and then i should have a zinc over here as well right is that zinc that's aluminum where's that zinc at zinc perfect okay um as far as i know how the storage things work is it depends on where you have it connected so if i connect it to say the platform right here uh oh create segment okay uh if i connect it to this platform it's going to detect all the storage capabilities on this platform but if i move it up uh no get over here no just stop okay can we can we get you off of there <laughs> how do i disconnect it there okay so now if i connect it to this guy it's going to specifically gather the storage information based on this so what i was going to do is i was going to put it over there so it only detect the four storages but it's not going to work that way because it, it goes to like the 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 highest thing i guess uh if you, so think of it as a stack okay base stack right here it's going to calculate everything the next stack would be an item on said base and then an item on said that item so an example of that would be a medium storage like these guys so what it would do as far as i know is if i connected it here it's going to calculate all storages connected to this entire platform and then if I connect it to this guy, it's going to connect. It's going to calculate storage is connected to this platform. So all of these plus these. But then if I connect it to this one specifically, it's only going to calculate the storage of this guy, not of these open ones here, which is kind of neato. It is kind of neato. Uh, it's not really going to work in the way that I it's not going to really work in the way that I want it to, because if I connected it to the platform over there, it's going to read all the storages. It's never going to turn off. It's never going to do anything. Um, so I would have to do, let's see here. If I had one of these guys, actually, let's grab this guy. So that would give us a, a total of eight. Now I'm about to say something crazy. I'm going to, I'm about to say something absolutely insane. And just, I know, I know, I know because we have automation now, I would love to see something that would be a smaller storage. I would like to see a one for one platform storage. I'd like to see like a little button that you just put here and it has one singular storage slot on the top. That way you could register off of that one. It would give, give you a lot more granularity, if you will, which is insane. I know, I know it's insane, but it's, it's a thing nonetheless. It's a thing. Okay. So now if I connect that to there, I should be able to connect it to here. So when this is full, this should turn off now we're gonna let it run i want to see if that works actually I'm, I'm curious i'm curious actually we can see that now if i just move these here that there and this one here shoot i mean this one it just turned it off and then when i take this off oh it didn't it didn't start it back up it did not start it up oh we got cycle modes okay uh full or empty full or not full there we go full or not full okay so now if i cycle it like that it's full well okay hold on it's full so it'd be turned off now if i do it it's going to toggle it on so as soon as this one pops into there it's going to turn this guy off i love that i absolutely love that i love everything about this update this is the best update ever absolutely 100 percent best update ever no lies okay so let's see I want to, I want to see, I want to see it work. Come on, come on. Just, just finish it. It's almost full. Look at all that OJ in there and boop. turned it off. And then as soon as this grabs a new canister, it's going to fill up one. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm going to be squealing like a little squirrel girl for a while because just mind is being blown right now. The capabilities of Ashenir have completely changed. The game's completely changed. Everything is everything we know about Ashenir is now different. Everything we know is completely different. hundred percent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love it. I would, I would still like to see a storage container for gases and liquids though. Just saying. Um, but that's going to end this episode guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We're going to be back. We're going to be testing more things, doing more stuff. Also, we are going to be streaming over on twitch.tv slash gaming. So make sure you head over there. Show some support. Also, if you guys want to show some support to Mrs. Z, I would be much appreciated. She does things. She does stuff. She plays Astroneer. She has a good time. And it is the official Mrs. Z one. I'll link down below as well. But thank you guys for coming out. You have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one.